couple questions then. If you've checked in and you have your ballot, it didn't go through, uh, and you want to see it go through, can you go to another location with that ballot? No, we're not, we're not having people do that. We want them to go ahead once they have checked in, go ahead and vote it. They're, they're not being disenfranchised in any way. They're voting. It's just a different way of it being counted. It can either be counted right here or it can be counted right here. Okay, that is the vote is absolutely going to be counted. We, that's a very important message that we want people to understand. So we're sorry for the inconvenience here. We're trying to get it fixed as soon as possible. But even if we can't get it fixed, you know, while they're there, before they get there, it's going to go down here. Number three, it's going to be safely trans transferred over here to the counting center, and it will be counted. Does that mean it'll take a little longer to count? Because when we have the instant count, obviously we know the numbers at 7 o'clock when the polls are closing, 8 o'clock we start seeing the first results. If you have to bring them back here, who's bringing them back here? Because did you account for the fact that now people have to go get these ballots and bring them back yes. here and count? Yes, so no, this is absolutely accounted for. So again, these ballots that run through this machine today at the vote centers, we'll start reporting those later in the evening. They're not part of the 8 o'clock, okay. uh, but later in the evening into the early morning. These ballots that will go down into here in door number three, we've prepared for, for this eventuality. This is one of our redundancies. Mm -hmm. So it's a, this is so important for people to understand this, a bipartisan board that is bringing them back, Republican and Democrat. And that most likely, I mean, we will see those results uh, reported sometime on Wednesday. Mm -hmm.